invasion of the purple people. At lunch, Mary was whispering stuff to Ida, Sydney, and Dexter. I knew it was about Harry. She kept looking at him when she was whispering. Harry kept his cool. She's making fun of the purple people, he whispered to me. Probably, I said. She shouldn't do it, I nodded. When Mary started to whisper in Song Lee's ear, Song Lee pulled back. We shouldn't make fun of people, she said. But they're not real people, Mary said. They're stupid purple people. Mm -hmm. They are real to Harry, Song Lee said. They helped room 2B. Remember, the B on the teacher's head and Sydney's lunch card. Harry planned all that, Mary replied. It's just a bunch of hooey, hogwash, balderdash, humbug, poppycock, and hokum. What do those words mean? Song Lee asked. Nonsense, Mary said. Song Lee patted Mary on the shoulder. I think you and Harry should be friends. We have only two days of second grade left. Mary dusted her glasses. I hope I only have two days more with Harry. He'd better not be in my third grade class. Song Lee giggled. I hope Harry's in my third grade class. He makes me laugh. He has bi a big imagination. Big, Mary replied. You mean humongous. At recess, Mary asked to go to the library. I need to work on a special project, she told us. I wondered about that special project. Harry lowered his eyebrows when he saw what Mary took with her. Purple construction paper, purple clay, and purple yarn. What do you, th what do you think she's going to do? She's going to do right now that, like, the stick like this. Mm-hmm. That's not gonna work. The stick. Do Do you think she might make some purple people? Oh, baby. Yeah. They're gonna eat everyone. Thirty minutes later, when recess was over, we all went to the water fountain for drinks. Harry and I had forgot about Mary. We were talking about the kickball game. We won. Dexter said. No, we won. Harry replied. We did. Dexter said. We did. Harry replied. Song Lee stood behind Harry in line. We didn't have an umpire. It was just practice game. The score doesn't count. Please don't fight. Miss Mackle smiled at Song Lee. The world needs more peace peacemakers like you. Suddenly, Dexter called out, I'm bleeding! I looked at Dexter. There was blood dripping from his face on the floor. Pinch your nose, Dexter, the teacher said. Then she re rushed all us all upstairs. Go in and sit down, class. I'll be with you in a minute. I need to take Dexter to the nurse's room across the hall. Please stay in your seats. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Purple people. Oh, my gosh. Well, they're not the real purple people. Yeah, they might be. Well, they could come along. When we walked into the classroom, we saw it. The invasion of purple people. No one sat down. Six big purple globs of construction paper with purple yarn, hair, and purple clay eyeballs were stationed in different parts of the room each one had a name the one in the science corner was humbug the one next to the window was hogwash the one on the bookcase was hooey poppycock and balderdash were taped to the blackboard oakum was taped to the back of harry's seat i looked at harry his face turned white pink then bright red what was he going to do next Turn purple. All right. There you have it. There's your chapter. You guys go. I want you to go reread it. Follow my video.